We got to start this thing off right with that HBCU spot like that shot. Let's get into that thing. All right. So, fam, you, my alma mater, fam, you, right? The highest. And I do mean the highest of seven years, one of the greatest universities in the world, right? So, Florida AM men's golf team will be making its first ever NCAA regional appearance in school history at the Tallahassee Regional on May 17th through the 19th. The regional rounds will be held at the Seminole Legacy Golf Club on the campus of Florida State. I think that's right around the corner. Yeah, that's actually right around in my backyard area. I can walk to that. That's five minutes. So um, 81 teams and 45 individual competitors will participate at the six regional locations around the country. FAMU, who earned the 13 seed, will compete against 13 other teams and five individuals. The top five teams and top individuals not on those teams from each region will advance to the finals, which will be played on May 28th through June 2nd at the Greyhawk Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, the boys, the boys go to Arizona, they win. Uh, playing in the Tallahassee Regional Field along with FAMU are Georgia Southern, Davidson, Florida State, Georgia, Georgia Tech, Indiana, Kansas, Liberty, LIU, LSU, Ohio State, Southern California, and TCU. FAMU clinched this spot in the regionals after winning the MIAC Golf Championship by a remarkable 19 strokes on April 20th. Last week, the program announced an apparel equipment deal with Taylor May. Really going down? FAMU will bring an all-senior lineup into the tournament featuring Prince Cunningham, Moby Dillard, Mahendra Lutchman, Ethan Magnum, and Cameron Riley. One time, say the boy's name again. Prince Cunningham, Moby Dillard, Mahendra Lutchman, Ethan Magnum, and Cameron Riley. Really going down, FAMU golf team. Hey, all shouts out to FAMU golf team, man. I hope they go out there and smash on all them other teams out there. I hope they go down and, and just lay and just me smash all them other teams out there. Now, I mean, so if you if you don't know, FAMU is known for its band and its football team. Band first, football team. As far as athletic and athletics win. But FAMU is also known as being one of the most prestigious HBCUs and one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the country. FAMU is a, a top-notch academic institution. But FAMU being an HBCU, you know, HBCU is one thing we don't. Golf ain't golf. Golf just not one of those top tier sports at HBCUs, right? Um, it, it just not. Black folk don't golf like that, right? Black folk don't go up golfing like that. So to see something like this, something out of the ordinary, and FAMU is excelling at it, it's exciting to me. Um, and I think others should be excited as well and get behind family, whether you whether you're a family supporter or not. If you support HBCUs, you should get behind them. Them winning these tournaments opens up doors and um, it sets future precedents for future golf teams, whether they come from family or not, to be able to have that confidence that they can go into any realm, into any setting and, and you know, pull out them clubs and win, man. You know, family won me at by night. Team strokes be stroking that thing out, right? So they should have all the confidence in the world going into these regionals, into the Tallahassee regionals, that they're going to go out there and ball a lot. I believe they're going to ball a lot. I know y'all believe they're going to ball a lot. They're going to ball a lot. One time for them snakes. Strike and strike and strike again. One time for the fan you rap the golf team, man. Some, say these gentlemen names one more time before we move on to the second part of this HBCU uh, spotlight. So, Prince Cunningham, Moby Dillard, Mahendra Lutchman, Ethan Magnum, and Cameron Riley. Shout out to y'all gentlemen. Y'all go out there and smeeze Nash the competition. All right? So, let's move on. Into this HBCU spotlight, that shot. 